my name is Aishwarya. I am here to talk about my robo. My teacher's name is Mari Ramos. She trained me very well to conduct this uh, program. So I am very interested. So I am studying in Jemsa Ronimash High School, grade 4 I. I am here to solve all your problems. I have seen visually challenged people, the people who cannot see well, who are people who are blind. So I am very sad because they have gotten many injuries. So my robo is going to help blind people. I am very excited to start my topic. Materials used for this program are some cardboard boxes, an educate, and some wires and a power supply. Like how I have used a power bank. Arduino controller is known as the brain of this iBot. Name is called iBot. It connects the wheels and the ultrasonic sensor that makes the sense beep. Each wheel has a motor that is connected through wires positive and negative. The brain has connecting points such as 5V and VCC which are positive and GND which is a negative. A set of wires are connected to the brain and programming is done through Arduino Uno. The program is set up for rotating the wheels in correct speed and direction for the robot to move forward. The other important part of the robot is the ultrasonic sensor. Of course, nobody can't see without the eye. So it acts as the eye for the eyebot. So it senses the particular distance between the person and the obstacle. So the person has to hold the stick, the walking stick. I have to connect it. And so you see a light and it senses between the obstacle and the person. So that the person can know that there's, oh, so this buzzing is coming from the robo. So I'm going to hit an obstacle so that it doesn't have any injury. This is a motivate for me to inspire the uh, blind people. So as I told you, this is attached to a walking stick. So this is attached to a walking stick and the blind person should hold it. So any, when any device is connected to a power supply, the circuit is completed and allows the robot to move forward. It can move any direction but it should not this robot should not also hit the obstacle. So that's why I have added more wires so that it can function all parts of the body. Like just for us, the brain connects all the parts of the body through nerves. So this so the nerves act as the wires for the robot and the brain is called the Arduino controller. Thank you Deva and Junkbot for conducting this um, program and I have a motive for this robot thanks. This robot will change the course of future. So in future robots will take place in our jobs like cleaning, um, washing vessels. So, But it's really an inspiration for me to share out my ideas. So thank you everyone.